Okay, we've spent a fair amount of time now talking about what vergence is and what a diopter is. So now we're going to bring lenses into, into it. So uh, when we talk about a lens, the big thing we want to talk about is the power of the lens. Um, how effective is it at bending light? And the power of the lens is measured in diopters. Surprise, surprise. So we can have a lens that's like a plus three diopter lens, or we can have a lens that's a plus, you know, 5.5 diopter lens, or we can have a lens that's a minus 250 diopter lens. But the power of the lens is measured in diopters. Okay, so how is the power of the lens defined? So each lens is defined by three points. There is a focal point here called F1. There is a focal point here called F2. And there is a third point which is called the nodal point, N-O-D-A-L, nodal point, okay? And all lenses are defined by these three points. So let's talk about the three. So the nodal point is the easiest one. At the nodal point, basically light that goes through the nodal point doesn't do anything. It just goes straight through. So that's by far the easiest uh, point to think of is the point where nothing interesting happens. So let's look at the other two points. Let's look at this F1 point. So let's take a lens over here, and let's say this is F1 over here. What this point says is, and the assumption in these pictures is that light is always traveling from left to right. What this point says is, if I put a point source of light at F1, light from that point source that hits this lens will emerge parallel. Light with zero vergence. Okay? And what that means is if I put a, po a point source of light here too close, that light will diverge, will leave as diverging light. And if I put a point source of light too far out, that light will emerge as converging light. So only if I put the point source of light directly at that focal point will light emerge as parallel, light with absolutely zero vergence. Okay, and that's what's depicted here. So that's F1. So what is the other one, F2? What F2 says is, if I have a lens and pass parallel light through that lens, it will come to a point at F2. Okay, so if I have diverging light hit the lens, the light will come to focus behind F2. And if I have converging light come into the lens, then that light will get focused in front of F2. But if I have exactly parallel light coming into the lens, then that light will come to a focus at point F2. So those are our three points. At F1, a point source there will pass through the lens and come out as parallel light. F2, parallel light coming through the lens, will be focused to a point at F2. And N, the nodal point, light passing through there, doesn't do anything. It just goes straight through the lens. Okay, so how do we find the power? How do we assign a number to this now? Well, the power of the lens is in diopters, right? So, and we know that diopters, vergence in diopters equals one over the distance in meters. So if I told you that F2 or F1, because F1, 
the distance from F1 to the nodal point and the distance from F2 to the nodal point are the same. Okay, so these are the same. So if I told you in this middle section that F2 was 2 meters away from the nodal point, this distance from the nodal point to F2 were 2 meters, what's the power of the lens? Well, the power of the lens in diopters equals 1 over the distance in meters equals 1 half of a diopter. We're not going to worry about the sign yet. Let's just worry about the power. So the power of that lens is a half a diopter. Well, what if I told you that instead of being at 2 meters, that this distance was 33 centimeters? So now we have the vergence of the lens in diopters equals 1 over the distance in meters. 33 centimeters equals 1 third of a meter. So the diopteric power of that lens is 3 diopters. Because 1 over a third of a meter equals 3 diopters. So this is how we figure out the power. And that holds true whether it's F2, parallel light going through the lens, will get focused to a point, in this situation, 33 centimeters away. Or if it's F1, where F1, we'd say, if a point source of light were placed 33 centimeters away, it would pass through that lens as, and emerge as parallel light. So that is how lens power is defined. It's really defined experimentally as, you know, when I pass parallel light through the lens, where does it come into a focus? Okay, so that's how the lens power is defined, and that should give us a good head start for further lens discussions going forward. Thanks.